Tommy, uh, point gained or two points lost? How do you see that? Two dropped, I'd say, yeah. Um, should win the game, especially when you're one up and then with 10 men, probably should you know, create more chances, better chances. You need to need to be a bit calmer on the football and, and uh, create more chances. We didn't create enough when they went on to 10. Uh, it was a good opportunity to score as well when it, when it did come, wrestled his way to get himself into the spot and, and took it away. Yeah, it was a good finish by Mark, you know, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> he was alive to the, the, the flick on um, or came off the defender's head and keeper, he knew where the keeper was, he took it, took, took the ball really well. Um, probably had chances before that, Thomas, you know, was unlucky not to score, Stevie, keeper for that for good save, Stevie Christopher from Stevie Christopher and um, he, had, he had a couple of more efforts, Lee had a couple of efforts and um, a couple of good saves by their keeper, Corey didn't have much to do, so in that sense a bit disappointing and, and to concede in the manner we conceded is disappointing too. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, is, uh, <clears throat> it's always disappointing to concede a goal, but to concede it in the way, that, the manner that we did, was that, was that frustrating for you? Yeah, very soft goal, you know, we knew it was a good year, and especially Clancy is good from set pieces, and we got to do better there, and we got to get tighter and, and be more aggressive, you know. Um, we said it before the, before the game that, you know, he, he's a danger man, so um, we need to stop that. Uh, talk to after the, the, the red card as well. I disagree with that. I think the boys pressed, you know, they pressed real high up and um, they, they won the ball back high up. It's just, um, I think they, they forced the ball too much. They didn't, um, they just tried to force it too much, really, you know, playing forward passes when they probably could have went sideways and, and uh, got the ball out wide and balls in the box. But from a pressing point of view, I thought they pressed quite well. Um, you see, he couldn't get out and we were unlucky a couple of times when uh, when we pressed um, not to turn them over, you know. But uh, obviously, new players in, etc. Is, is there a feeling as well from yourself that the squad is kind of coming back together? We've had a huge amount of injuries throughout the season as well. Yeah, it is, you know, and we've got a few lads in now, a few lads coming back and there's, <coughs> excuse me, there's still a couple of 20s in the squad. We were probably heavy loaded with 20s and, and you know, and the 20s uh, versus some very good players in this, you know, you can see by the results in the league that, you know, to finish bottom of their group, uh, there's a bit of work to do there um, and that's not having to go them by any means. It's just that if you're, you know, if you're, um, it's essentially our reserve team and, you have to be doing really well in, in, a, in a reserve team to be getting into the first team and those lads probably got opportunities a bit too early and um, and, and, and you know you, when you have lads back they got to drop out and, and they got to take it on the chain and come back stronger. That's a player's coming in the window. DJ started tonight, a big crowd favourite as well. How good is it to play tonight as well? Yeah, DJ did well when he came on, you know, he, he brought a lot of good energy, he was busy about the place and he got us going too tipping away. I thought Stephen Healy had a good 60 minutes as well. Um, you know, he's a new addition. We brought a big trip on the last few minutes because we thought the might get balls in the box. Um, uh, you know, he's done okay. Uh, you know, but look, there's, there's, there's a few new lads we're happy with the additions we've made and um, we've, a, we've a, a solid squad. Just uh, finally, one, one last word yeah. on Lee Devitt, who celebrated his 100th appearance uh, for United United as well. What's it been like to have somebody like Lee? Lee just just seems to be so consistent for the team. Yeah, Lee's already said it there. He's very consistent. You know, he works really hard. He doesn't get injured. Uh, you know, he he's he's a, he's a very good team player. Uh, he works his socks off. Presses very well. Probably you know tries to do too much at times. Um, you know, and that's I don't say that in a, in a really negative sense, but you know that sometimes he can he can he tries to do too much for the team and 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 you know run around the place a bit too much and he just if he if he gets that bit more composure and calmness into his game which he he's starting to get uh, and you see that in a lot of, a lot of games he'll be he'll be a top top mid midfielder in the, in the league for many years you know he's still very young Lee. he's only um 23 24 years of age so there's a long way to go um but yeah he's a pleasure to work with great young man gentleman and a, a, a top professional